Hey y'all, in 4 h and h here, nine o'clock in the morning in the east. And uh, solar activity is great right now. We have a solar flex index of 171 and uh, sunspot number is 147. I'm hearing uh, stations all over on 10, 12, and 15 meters. This is 10 meters, 28.390. Station is in Switzerland. It's usually not a problem to get Switzerland with, with good band conditions. And, and for that matter, you can do it with 100 watts. In fact, I'm not gonna enable the amp. I'm gonna run this radio barefoot, which is 200 watts. So the FTDX 5000 MP, 200 watts barefoot, using my doublet antenna. It's a 160 meter doublet. Hardly ever use it on 160, to be honest. It's just got such tremendous gain on these upper frequencies. I hear that interference. DSP width, I dropped it down to 1.8. If, if that's not enough, I'll go to 1.5. If that's not enough, I'll shift very negative because that's a high pitch interference. November 4, Hotel November Hotel. Number 4, Hotel November Hotel. You're 57, over. Uh, thank you for the 57. Well, you just hit 5-9 on that transmission. You've been getting stronger and stronger the more I listen. Uh, the name here is Doug Delta Oscar Uniform Golf. QTH is near Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Thanks for picking me up. He's got a 164, I got 147. But I do have the 171 SFI. Uh, yeah, Ian, let me make sure I've got your call sign correct then. Um, is it not Ho Hotel Bravo 9, Charlie Victor Queen? Oh, Andy. Okay. I thought you said Ian. My, 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 my apologies there. Okay, Andy. Well, very good. Very good. Well, yeah, um, I'm seeing solar flux index also 171 looking good. Uh, and the x-ray number, we're looking at C1.1. I got, um, I got to experience that M class, uh, flare last week and it sure did black things out, but not, not, but about a, about an hour here. And I hear there's another one that has been predicted. So, uh, but right now, yeah, you're right. The bands are great. I've been listening 10, 12, and 15, and everything's good. Well, okay, enjoy. Get some more uh, contacts. I'm sure you have a, have people waiting. So, HB9CVQ, this is November 4, Hotel November, Hotel 73. Roger, Q, it's all about HB9CVQ. Yeah. Oh, yes, you're right. There's a prediction today. It's a one He's talking about the geomagnetic storm predictions. November 4, Hotel, November Hotel, Hotel Bravo 9, Charlie, Victoria, Quebec, 73, thank you. Okay, got him in the log. 200 watts, he gave me a 5.7, and um, I gave him a 5.9 because he was the needle was bouncing very near 5.9, and I'm running amp 1, which the... S meters are calibrated in 14.2 megahertz for this radio and uh, using amp one. 
up on these upper bands, it'll be a little, it'll read somewhat low. And uh, I didn't need to use amp two because I want to maintain a good signal to noise ratio. Uh, I could have probably, with him, as strong as he was, I could have probably just run IPO. In fact, I know I could. The intercept point optimization option, which is basically you're not using a preamplifier. You're not using amp, amp one or amp two. When at all possible, you want to use intercept point optimization. Always use it before you even use an attenuator. If somebody's super strong and you want to attenuate, always turn on the IPO first because it's going to improve uh, the cross-modulation characteristic of your receiver. And, uh, you know, if you need more, then, then turn on the attenuators. And if you watch my channel much, you know me. On 40 meters, I use IPO in 6 dB typically. Uh, of attenuation. Now, sometimes even 12. Uh, on 80 meters, I immediately go to IPO and 12 dB of attenuation. And on 160 meters, I go to IPO and 18 dB of attenuation. Even on 20 meters, I think of it as a transition band. I'll probably at, use, at least use IPO unless I'm working CW and I've got everything narrowed down. Well, okay, I hope you found the video at least entertaining. Maybe you picked up a tip or two from it. Uh, thanks for watching videos on my channel. Please stand by for another 32 seconds. I would like to recognize five of the members of the Patreon team, what I've called long haulers, who help offset the cost of this uh, channel and video production. And uh, these are team members who have supported the channel for a year or two or more I've got a couple coming up on three years. So thanks a lot. Appreciate it. 73 from N4 H&H. &H.